Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Mini Intruder, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Dust. Well, last time we had a good explore of the area around Novag, which is now, yes, a very, very useful base. A place we can nip back to for sleep, for water that we slurp directly out of our filthy toilet, but screw it, it's better than no water at all. And today, today we are heading south because I found a note that said, hey, let's all go to Camp Searchlight. And I saw someone in the comments say, for God's sake, John, do not go to Camp Searchlight under any circumstances. So naturally... I'm going to Camp Searchlight. So, fun thing about Camp Searchlight, of course, a couple of different ways we can go there. The road that most people will be more familiar with will be because, yeah, in the actual base game, of course, you're doing this journey in reverse. You're starting over here by the NCR outpost, through Nipton, and then up to Novak. So, yeah, you've got kind of Nipton around there, the ambush around here, uh, Ulysses' Ranch around here, and then you just kind of loop around in this direction to get onto the lovely highway around here. Yeah, hang on, sorry, the Ulysses' Ranch will be there. And then, yeah, the bridge and the Legion Ambush, and then just the road up towards uh, Rain Station Charlie. And then there's this road, however, which is, yeah, by a couple of mines. It's a bit more wide open over here. Not many people use that. I'm not so familiar with it as well. There's a bunch of, like, really small mines that have very little in them in the base game, so, yeah. One way or another, we need to get our way down to Camp Searchlight. I'm probably going to start with the route I'm more familiar with, if only because I wouldn't mind swinging into Ranger Station Charlie, because I believe there's actually, yeah, quite a few ammo boxes and supply crates in there. Could be a good spot for looting. Alright, here we go. Out of town along the road, there's the railway tracks. Now, keep an eye out here, because I feel very much like we're actually in cannibal territory at the minute. We've barely seen any tunnelers at all for some time. But there's a very real chance that, yeah, every single building has just been converted into a cannibal camp. Same could be true around here. If so, there is a fair amount of high ground I could get myself onto. So I might be able to snipe down at whatever exactly is occupying Ranger Station Charlie. And there it is. We've got a little bit of fog of dust, and we've got a little bit of darkness, because, you know, it's night. Let's see if I can just get up high enough to see what's going on here. Alright. I don't see any movement yet. Okay. Let's head to those rocks over there. That'll be closer and give us a better view as to what's going on. Oh, I see some movement. Yeah, as I would have expected. Cannibals. So, cannibal with a nail gun down there. Cannibal with just a mace over there. And then... Okay, I count at least four. One up top and three over here. And let's just check for more weapons. You're the guy with the mace. I can't see the other one. You've got... What is that on your back? I don't know exactly. Okay, so... Here's what we're gonna oh. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna snipe off at least a couple of these lads, and then after we're done with that, we can just finish off the rest of them. This shouldn't be too bad, and I think the supplies inside here will be worth it. Oh, never mind. Or possibly we're not gonna get that far because there was one extra guy who I didn't realise was there, and now he's just gonna run round and come and get me. Well, that's that's absolutely fine. That's that's all 100% fine. He's more than welcome to try. And he's actually got, I think he has a throwable. So let's just go over to, actually, you know what? I don't want to waste the ammo on the thing that's got the scope. I'm going to go over to 0.45. So just wait, wait. No, no, I'm right. I am right here. Oh, flip. He's got a flipping microfusion cell cluster. That's, that's no good. No, I'm right. I'm right here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello? Are you not interested in coming in? Guys! Like, I don't want you to actually throw that at me. Yeah, now I want to dump, jump out of the way. And how many more of those do you flipping have? Bloody hell. Right, okay. Let's just take you out. Nice and easy. One bullet, one kill. Very, very nice indeed. And that's worth... Yeah, this is worth doing. This is 45 XP a go. Cannibals are a good source of XP. I'm still in danger. They're probably still coming. Some of them have got throwables. Be careful. There's a throwable. I'll have that as well. Thank you. Now, in terms of weapons, all I've seen so far is a nail gun. I've seen one nail gun back to caution. Okay, I know for a fact you up there have some form of weapon. So if you would just like to hold still for one second, please. 
Yeah, just, just a little bit more, a little bit more. That finishes you off, thank you. All right, go back over to, yeah, caution. How many more of them are there and how many of them have guns? There's a handful, right, they've got throwables, they're already tossing in the throwables. It's at least four. Okay, as it's a cluster, then probably I'm pretty happy to use uh, some of my own throwables. I think I've got... Actually, I've got to get rid of some of my throwables. So, okay. What do we want for you? How about... Yes, burning. Burning is good. Right, okay. Just toss that over there. And they... Did you just try and get out of the way? Well, that's surprisingly clever of you. And then, if ideally, I'd like to hit the guys way over... Oh, blimey heck! That... That was a plasma grenade. Or possibly... I think it detonated my own grenade. They just just my own grade in my hand. Well, that's impressive. Right, how do you like to just walk into a mob? Actually, no, hang on. They're all kind of clustered right now. They're all very clustered. Right, guys, how about you just do... Yes, this over here. So they can just have that. Oh, that'll do the job. Okay, so maybe that was a little bit of a waste of some explosives. But honestly, it cleared out some weight. I'm pretty happy with things. Ah, screw it. I've got two doctor's bags as well, and they weigh things. Boom. So, ooh. Not that sort of mind. Now, what exactly do you want to hand over? Five, five, six, and ooh. Cultist Scepter. Very, very fancy indeed. Mostly nothing major. One time bomb. Eh, that does replace the explosives I just lost. Now, hang on. There were totally... There were totally more than three of you. Where'd the rest of the corpses just get tossed? You know what? I'm not actually sure. I think I blew them into next week. Oh, well. I'm back to hidden. I must have killed... Oh, there's one. <laughs> Blimey, you got thrown a long way, didn't ya? And, ooh, dandy boy apples. I'll take that just for a tiny bit of food to top up. There'll be another one over there. Oh, yes. You did get thrown quite the long way. And here we go. Railside camp these days. Uh, the concept of rangers. Uh, long gone. And, oh, excuse me, there's... Hello, sorry. You took me by surprise there. Let's let you get a little bit on the closer side before I murder you. Lovely. And more yet, though somehow this guy just, like, missed with... Wait, who even threw that one over there? I don't know. I think there's more yet. Would you believe, whenever you see cannibals, there's more cannibals than you think there are. Right. Who's up next, then? Oh, have you got a throwable? Have you got a throwable? Have you got a... I think you had a throwable for a second, but hopefully you're not going to get the chance to use it. Yeah, he was totally trying to get out a throwable, but he's not allowed that. Stun grenade! I think that works well against actual tunnelers, so I'll be having that, thank you. Ooh, one gas bomb. Yeah, those weigh a lot, I can't justify that. Right, okay. Who's up next? There's got to be more. There's got to be more, because I'm still in caution. Question is... Who is it? Where are you? Come on, come and accept your bullet in the head. Well, I've checked every square inch of this camp, and I cannot find whoever's actually left, so... Possibly a creature briefly detected me from the nearby hills or plains? I am not sure. Well, regardless, that's only the outside cleared out. There's gonna be more inside, but I think I should be able to handle that pretty easily, with this much ammo and this gun. And, yep. As expected, one cannibal, one shot to the head for you, one more coming over here. Do not let them get off their throwables. And then probably more yet, retreat into this room. And yes, in caution. Right, wait for them to come to me, this is worth a lot of XP. Quick reload. Right, quick chance to- oh, you're totally coming in right now, aren't you? Yes, you are. Right, excuse me, no. Right, okay, now you can- Oh. Lucky bastard, you actually got a hit in. Right, there's number three. And back to hit him. That should be your lot. Fine, only three. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, a poison grenade. Okay, that's fun and new. Ah, uh, yes, and do not forget, we've actually got ourselves a, a toilet here. Great, so I can top up my thirst before I move on. One bandage as well. Better and flipping better. Now, there are traps in here in the base game. Watch out for them. But I think if there were any, he'd have already tricked them. So, I think we're good. Yeah, this is why I wanted to come in here, of course. There's a load of containers. So, I'm hoping we'll get something good out of all of this. Actually, in all fairness, bit of a limited haul. Couple of first aid boxes, sure. But, not much in them. Yeah, I may have been slowly misremembering how much good stuff was here. Still, 
It's got beds and it's got water. It's a nice little stop-off point on my way out towards Searchlight. I mean, how are we doing right now? 131, 177, 128... Yeah, honestly, I may as well just grab, like, just two hours sleep, drink up from the toilet, and then be on my way. If nothing else, that will actually bring me a lot closer to dawn. So, as a result of that, yeah, we'll actually be in much better shape to see what's going on in the world. Something to watch, though. My rads are starting to creep up right now. I'm just going to do myself a quick rad away. Just because, yeah, I'm doing a lot less booze than I used to. So, I've actually managed to get my weight to an acceptable level, and I've actually got myself a handful of... Uh, Brahmin steaks. And remember, if I need more food, next time I pass back for a Novak, there's still 10 Brahmin steaks in the little ranch house, because I never took those out of the fridge. So remember those are there, those are important. So, three ways we can really go at this point. Up the road here, straight up into the hills, because yeah, this is actually a passable area. Here's an interesting thing, by the way, if you've actually um, looked at New Vegas in detail, New Vegas is generally a fairly curated experience, which is to say, what the heck is this? Oh, it's just a just a fallen down little power or telegraph pole or something. There's a lot of like um, big impassable cliffs around New Vegas. So for the most part, actually, like if you're running down a road, you can't actually climb the canyon either side of it. It's actually like fairly limited. In some ways, like some of the paths are quite linear. However, this is one of those areas where you can just run straight to the top of this hill and just run over the top of it, which very often you can't. So that's actually an option here. Or head in that direction over towards the other road, the other side of Novak, and follow that road. Let's try this direction first, though I suspect, because this is the route everybody knows, uh, it's going to be the one where, yes, potentially the guy who made the mod will have actually lavished the most attention, and it could possibly be the most dangerous. But that does also open up the opportunity for it to be, okay, I just saw movement over there. So the ambush is still there. But I might just be able to get around it. Probably still cannibals. Because, yeah, we're very much in cannibal territory right now. In fact, actually, yeah, everywhere. This just seems to be the cannibal bit of the map. Because we know for a fact that, yeah, Prim was cannibals. NCR Outpost, cannibals. Nipton, I think I saw cannibals in the distance when I was just doing my initial start from every different start location. We know there were cannibals at Novak and at Helios 1. So, honestly... I find it incredibly likely that we're going to have cannibals around this road and also Searchlight itself. But here's the thing about Searchlight and the reason I want to go there. There's a whole bunch of assets that aren't really used for anything in the base game. In particular, there's a massive great airport back here. Now, my quest is escape. Alright, that, that's literally all I've got to do. I've got to escape the Mojave. Now, there is, conveniently, a massive great airport that the base game doesn't use for anything. Now, doesn't that just seem too good to be true? So I'm just going to go and, yeah, check that out. To go with, yeah, there's a crashed vertebrate that maybe, like, you know, if I bring it some specialised parts I could fix. Because fixing the boat up with some rare parts was the thing in Far Harbour, in Frost. So that's possible too. And there's just a bunch of fun stuff around there, like the animal husbandry farm, which I think actually did have a wasteland survival guide. So uh, survival plus three, that'd be very welcome too. So it's not just searchlight. There's a bunch of stuff beyond searchlight I'm beginning to suspect could be very, very useful indeed. Now, what is going on up here? Because base game says there's going to be a bunch of bad guys up around. Yeah, I'm seeing ya. I'm seeing ya. Now, let's just check what you are. Survivors! Not cannibals! Fascinating. Keep my distance. No need to fight literally everybody, because I will run out of ammo. And... More survivors. Survivor with what looks like... Ooh, yes. Okay, something a bit more on the powerful side. If I could just sneak between the two of you, honestly, I'd probably consider that a good result. Let's just go this side of the pylon. I don't really want to cause trouble. Because, yeah, cannibals, maybe 75-80% of them are melee. Which makes them very, very easy pickings to a single gunshot to the head. Survivors have a much better chance of actually being armed. So, let's just bypass you guys and see what we got. There we go. And then I can actually use the sign to actually protect myself. A couple of mole rats around here in the base game. Doesn't mean they're going to be here, but if they are, that could be a nice little snack as well. So, okay. I think we're good. And I think we're also starting to see... Yep, 
Nice bit of pink dawn coming up. Good. Visibility should be a little bit better in the day. Ah, yes, and there is my little mole rat friend, Marvellous. So, if I want to pick him up on the way back, I can do that. I'm not going to waste the time or the ammo right now. I'd rather just crack on, make some progress towards Searchlight. But, nice to know he is still there. And hello. We've got something left on the road for me here. The corpse. One dead survivor with... Ah! Okay. A psalm. And scripture. Right, by any chance were you a missionary from... Oh, blimey. Your face is not looking so hot. Right, were you one of the new Canaanites? Is that an actual psalm? By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Fine. So, whatever went on inside Zion, potentially the new Canaanites were driven out. Though, actually, that's... Yeah, that just means it must be the fled ending. So, the ending this game goes for, for uh, Honest Hearts, was... All of the new Canaanites and the Sorrows and whatever. Actually, no, sorry, the new Canaanites were wiped out regardless. But the Sorrows basically decided to flee. Okay, fine. So you were probably one of the remnant of the Canaanites. Maybe someone connected to, to Daniel. Now, head up that way towards the bridge. Or head up... Well, actually, both of these go towards the bridge. But this one brings me a little bit closer to Wolfhorn Ranch. Sometimes called Ulysses' Ranch, depending on the version Let's have a little look. So yeah, more mole rat pups over there. If they come over and make trouble, I'm happy to make trouble. But for the most part, I'm willing to... Oh. Hello. I can't see what that is. There's something over there. It looks kind of like a ghost person. The movement's a bit on the odd side, isn't it? Or possibly that could... No, it's just a... It's just a crow just a crow. Now, the ambushers seem to be mostly left in place, which unfortunately means there's a high chance there's two people hiding behind this here billboard. I don't know what they're going to be, because they're not going to be the Legion. So in which case, who are you exactly? I do not actually know. If I go down here, I won't need to find out. And I can spy on them from the bridge and maybe snipe them off if... Ooh. Tribals. Now, tribals are sometimes... Oh, blimey. Is that actually caravan? Oh, flip. Keep my distance. Keep my flipping distance, because that's Brahmin. And that's the caravan spawn point in the base game. I mean, the problem is, are they friendly? They could be friendly. I'd like them to be friendly. Please be friendly. Just make a move around the outside. The tribals haven't noticed me yet, but they were marked in red, not yellow. Sometimes tribals are cool if you just keep your distance, but I think those ones are marked in yellow. Right, guys. Oh, flip survivors. Right, okay, I'm, I'm joining them. I'm joining them. I'm joining a group of yellow survivors every flipping time. So, they can help clear out the angry survivors. Hello, I'm on your side now. I'm going to put my gun away as, like, a sign of good faith. Though, who are you guys? Yes, yeah, survivor. Survivor, survivor, survivor. Fine. What do you need? Sadly, no shops. But, screw it. I need to Fine. get going. I'm willing to join up with you lads. And I'm guessing... Yeah, two tribals there. Honestly, I want these guys to live. So I'm willing to help out with all of this. But, I also don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to use ammo though. I might just go over to my knife. Yeah. I'm going to use my knife. I don't want to waste weapon condition or ammo. I'm going to wait for them to attack, and then I'm just going to flank and use my knife. Well, if that even happens at all. Back in, yeah, when I was doing the very first little experiments, I did notice the NCR and the tribals mostly just left each other alone. The question is... Oh, are they going for... No, they're totally happy to go for it. Except, weirdly, those guys have decided they can't be bothered. That's kind of odd. Actually, now you're trying to run away. You guys have decided not to. Okay, now you're now you're throwing spears at me, and also that guy's been shot. Well, this is. Do you guys not actually care about the the tribals? Okay, for some reason these guys were neutral to the tribals. <laughs> this guy wasn't, which is um, fascinating. But I guess that means I can have myself some 10 millimeter ammo. So what? Ooh, money. That I'll never, ever use. And, oh, 
Dirty water. I think I did need that for a very specific reason. Yes, that gets me up to four dirty water. And for some reason, you can't, like, purify the water with only three. You need exactly four. So with the experimental rat axe, I can actually make myself four purified waters. Sexy. And a bunch of dead tribals too. Good. Help myself to all of this. Uh, but really, all they've got is throwing spears. You know what? I'll take... I'll take three. They are useful and powerful. But yeah, problem with tribals, overwhelmingly, they don't have guns. But I can help myself to a tiny bit of fruit as well, sure. So yeah, I haven't really lost anything by fighting those guys, but I haven't really gained anything either. And the question is, do I want to waste the time following these guys back up towards Novak? Because at Novak, well, presumably they'll actually clear out... Yeah, if I just follow them, they'll clear out the ambush... For me. And then I've basically got a clean run straight back down again. And we've got, ah, we're also close by to the camp. Hmm. You know what? I'm just going to go and scout out the camp while you actually go and, uh, yeah, check out the road ahead. Because I've got a bit of spare time before you get close by to the area I want you to clear out for me. Here we go. And, oh, more tribals. Okay. Very legion -y tribals, it must be said. But honestly... Let's just get out of here. I I don't care to fight them. If they want to try and pursue me, I'm willing to hide behind a rock and lead them straight over here. But I suspect they're going to get bored and lose interest before they even get this far. Uh, or possibly that guy's going to shoot him down for me. Because this guy's... Oh, excuse me. Um, Whoever's behind me, would you mind shooting them? Thank you. Oh, blimey, there's... There's quite a few of them, actually. Sorry, I've accidentally annoyed, like, quite a few people. So we'll just finish you off. Right. And then I'm just going to keep running. Because that guy's just got infinite ammo because reasons. And now there are... Oh, good. You've killed the rest of them. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Bladed Gauntlet damaged 27. Okay, so. Here's the thing. The Super Sledge is brilliant. But it weighs 20. Which is a lot. 39 DPS of 68 versus damage 27 DPS 43. Oh, oh, I'm kind of tempted to make the switch because that saves me, that would save me 10 weight. And the Super Sledge is great, but really, really, do I actually need all that damage? Like 20. I haven't been using it that much. I've got the ammo. I mean, 27 is, oh, I'm literally giving up like a third of its power. But for 10 extra weight, and bear in mind, this is... Uh, I'm making the switch. I'm making the switch. That's actually pretty good. And now I can, yeah, I can do some blocking and some punching and all sorts. And perfect world. One of you might actually have Junk Blade. Not as good. Uh, marked, ooh. Marked Beast Face Helmet. Melee Weapon plus 3, Critical Chance plus 2. And damage threshold 3. Hang on, on my face right now, I've got myself damage threshold 2. And there's 1. So 3 total. And also rad resistance 15. Honestly, I think I'm better off with this. Especially as that's that's 2 and that's... Yeah, that's 5. So actually, this weighs 2 less. That's another saving of 2 weight. For the same damage threshold, I lose 15 rad resistance. But I gain 2 crit. Yeah, take the 2 crit. I'm going to be honest. You could argue that Doc Mitchell has lost his way slightly. In fact, actually, there's another one right here. So I can use that to repair up mine as well. And you had basically nothing of interest, but I'll take an anti-venom, thank you. Now, it's slightly annoying, yeah, my melee's at 32, my unarmed's at 27. So maybe I should boost my unarmed a tiny bit at some point. But I think we should be okay for the time being. Now, any chance I can now ransack this camp? I see there's a... Ah! There's a bound tribal down there. If I'm lucky, he can't do anything. Yeah, here we go. Caution, but a yellow caution because there's there's nothing they can do. Marvellous. So those guys are replacing the bound pounder gangers. And yeah, bedroll kits I don't actually need. Is there any stuff I can actually use around here? Honestly, doesn't look like it. A handful of stuff I could use to make weapon repair kits. Handful of, yeah, here we go. This is the good stuff. So, four separate footlockers in the tents. Grab that, then get out. Ah, uh, same sort of business we'd find in a typical Legion camp. Just massed helmets and basic Legion recruit stuff. Nothing I need. 
Now, if I untie you, are you going to immediately attack me? Okay. How do you feel? Do you want to just go? Yes, I think you want to just... No, you want to immediately attack me. Right. I've decided I'm not going to untie your friend. Also, I've just failed Bootus. I'm not sure I would have been able to actually succeed it, but screw it, I failed it. Oh well. Right, probably time to leave in that case. Now, perfect timing. My friends, the survivors, are approaching the actual point of the ambush. Either they clear up the ambush for me, or they themselves get shot down. Honestly, either works for me. And wait for it. Okay. He seems to just be, um... Walking straight past the ambush. How exactly has he got away with that? Possibly he just is not attacked by anybody. Right, okay. Sneak around here. Have a little look, see. Well, those guys are most definitely there. Are you guys planning to attack each other? Anytime? No? Yes? Maybe? Apparently not. Oh, wait, hang on. Yes, they did. They must have just used, like, a... A silence thrown weapon because he's down on the ground and the Brahmin stopped. Fine. I just need to clear them out because I want the Brahmin meat and also whatever he was holding because he's going to have actual 10mm ammo on him. So we definitely want all of these guys dead. Question is, where are the tribals now? And have they just actually given up the high ground to me? Because I think they might have done. Yeah, there's the Brahmin. Fine. Where's the rest of the... Where's the ambush gone? Okay, because I see there's something dead there. Where's the rest of them? And I'm detected. Oh, possibly there. You know what? I'm just going to grab whatever he had on him and then just get out of here, all right? Which is, yes, more Brahmin steaks, more dirty water. Good stuff here. Ooh, old ranger armor. Now, by any chance, could that be combined with my elite right gear? Almost certainly not without jury rigging, but I'll give it a go. I'll tell you what as well. Now I've got all this extra spare weight... I'm willing to take a 10mm of silence because I've got a bunch of 10mm junk rounds right now. Nope, sadly maintenance not allowed. Dump that in that case. Yeah, 8 junk rounds. And actually, even more normal rounds. Better and flipping better. Now you, my cow friend, you don't actually get any of the good stuff used on you. This is why I've actually brought myself a cosmic knife clean. Because I- no, no, stop, stop turning to face me. Stop turning to face me. Stop, stop. Right, okay. How about we just slash you with a knife? There we go. Job done. And I'll be having... If you just fall to the ground, please. There we go. I'll be having one Brahmin meat. Lovely. Right. 10 millimeter silenced. Good thing to just basically burn all the ammo of. And I feel hungry. Mild starvation. I don't care about any of that. I have got plenty of dog steaks and Brahmin steaks. Screw it. I'll eat another one of them. Beautiful. Oh, that Brahmin steak. That's good stuff. And there's plenty more waiting in Novak. So, my friends have managed to, yeah, clear out a big old pile of actual tribals for me. Though they themselves have gone on to, uh, slightly die. Which is a bit of a shame. But still, everyone's dead. I'm not. Honestly, kind of win-win. And I'm a bit thirsty. I will drink some wine. That will just temporarily sort that out. And also get the, hang on. Is wine the only one that doesn't? Yeah, wine doesn't get the, no, it gets rats right down a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. It also restores the sanity, because uh, I've been doing a lot of killing recently. Yeah, actually, I've been doing quite a lot of killing. And I've been doing a lot less on the old, uh, yeah, booze than I used to. I need to watch that, because at some point I'm going to go insane. Now, I have seen comments saying, John, just go insane, because actually it can be tactically useful to go insane. I'd rather not go insane if I can avoid it, because, you know, I'm kind of, you know, role-playing as Doc Mitchell. In the ways, like, deliberately going insane strikes me as an odd thing to do. So, if I end up having no choice but to go insane, I'll go insane. But honestly, like, you know, as my starting point, no. I'd rather not go insane, actually, thank you. And by the way, you can be cut into meat again. Alright, Wolfhorn Ranch. I see someone up top. Fine, this place is not empty. Almost certainly. Well, I was about to say almost only cannibals. I have seen not cannibals, I have seen survivors. Hello. What exactly are you? Tribals! Okay. Now that is dangerous. That is throwing spears. Throwing spears are bad. But, if I just loop round this way, I should be able to snipe off the guy up top and then I'll off the high ground. So, 
Should be able to pick off a few of them pretty easily, hopefully. I'll just check there's nothing else around here. Nothing I can see. Yeah, I want to be keeping an eye out for... Yeah, one tribal over there. Oh, some of them do have guns. Rare sight of tribal with guns. Interesting. Okay, well, let's just let you... Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't see that you were right there. I didn't see that you were right there. Oh, there's... There's more of them than I thought. Okay, maybe I do just take you out while the opportunity presents itself, if you'd be so kind as to just... Okay, just hold still and don't change your position for a second. Stop changing the... There you go. That's... Sorry, did a sneak attack critical just not kill him? That was a hit. That was a sneak attack critical. Oh, flip. Right, there's... Oh, there's a few of them. Okay, this is... Mildly problematic. Uh, okay, let's just see how we do against these guys. These guys are a little bit on the, the tough side. Okay, I know one of you's running from over here. Hide around the back of this here cliff. Watch out for where they're coming from at this point. Loop round to the front. Watch out for... Hello! Right, I see you. You appear to be a melee lad. Ah, I might have hit him in the gun. That might be what happened there. I might have hit him in the gun. Uh, which is why... Oh, some of them's got plasma. That's... That's a concern. Okay, go, 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 go. Do not let them use the... Oh, I'm going to die. Okay, so... These guys are really, really well armed. This is a surprisingly tough camp of tribals, actually. And, oh! You were up top, were you? Right, sorry. My mistake, I missed you there. Right, you're dead. Maybe get some... That sounded like a flame weapon being triggered. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is excellent, in fact. Right, okay, how many of them... No, that was the plasma again. Right, the plasma guy is dangerous. Gotta watch out for him. I mean, I could just ignore this place. But I've got a good feeling about, you know, the ranch where Ulysses once lived. I feel like, potentially... You know, Ulysses was a guy who had his head on his shoulders. If someone knows what's going to happen to the Mojave, given he was literally the guy who predicted, hey, by the way, at some point, the tunnels are going to come and wreck everything up, and that exact thing happened, maybe he could have made a different prediction at some point? A useful prediction that might be useful right here? Okay, you guys just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There you go. Anyone hear that? Drop down. Seems to be okay for the time being. Excellent. Good start here. Good start. Right, count them up. I see two over there. I see one up top, two up top. Okay, maybe try and pick off the ones that are closer to me if at all possible. That was a miss. That's a hit there, though. Okay, down one goes. And you had some form of nasty weapon. Still hit them. Still got sneak attacks. They don't seem to be... Yeah, they're... They're not close enough together to hear this. Oh, what are the hitboxes like on those things? I don't... No, I'm gonna let you go away. Right. I see there's three over there. At least one more up top. Fine. Four total minimum. Possibly more. And... Down you go as well. Lovely. Right. That's three. And I think the ones who are up top were the most dangerous. So there might be one patrolling on the far side, which might also be the plasma lad. Be careful. Okay, and... Oh, this looks like a nice simple... Oh, you almost walked into shot that. There's another one dead, but they'll see the corpse. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they just won't bother. Down you go, and... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Just wait for the right shot against you. You are mysteriously... Okay, I feel like I was lucky on that one. I feel like actually the spread just accidentally helped me. Screw it. That'll do. I'm pretty happy with that. So, feels like we've actually moved out of cannibal territory into tribal territory right now. Not sure whether that's really better or worse, though. I mean, the tribals, arguably, are actually better armed. They don't have guns, but they've got throwing spears, and sometimes they have plasma weaponry. So, yeah, they're definitely tougher than cannibals, and they never drop ammo for the most part, which is a problem. They seem to actually be worth less XP. Still, I'll take some of this too. Oh, I see another one over there. Hello, sorry, I missed you. And you've got a... Uh... No, you're just holding an actual bone to whack people with. That's less threatening. There we go. There's the guy with the plasma. So, energy cell times six, makeshift plasma rifle. Honestly, weight nine for damage 24. I mean, energy cell is... How much of that do I have? I think I did have a fair bit of that, but then I... Yeah, I stored it in the case outside Helios 1. 
Honestly, I can do without. It's fine. Right, you over there, you over there, you over there. If you've just got a bone, and I think that's all you've got, and that's all you are. Yes, hello, hello, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, there's two of you, but you've also just got a melee weapon. So you can just die, please. There we go, there's one. Knife spear, and just let him get nice and close. Shoot you in the face, job done. Three bullets, two dead. Fact hidden, good, happy with that. Especially as this is, oh, and it's a farm. But it appears to be a farm where you didn't actually successfully, um, grow anything. That's a bit of a shame. Now, normally, wells and whatever don't work. But you were guarding this place. And it looks like this is actually tied to, like, you know, groundwater. No. Sadly not. Okay. So, let's have a little look-see. Is the special unique cleaver inside Wolf Ho Ooh, Wolfhorn Village? Lardy flipping dar upgraded from a ranch. And we got one guy right here. Basic tribal, nothing major. But actually, you know what? I think there's no reason to actually uh, waste the ammo on you. Let's just punch you with my lovely bladed gauntlet. There's the critical. I'm getting so many criticals right now. I've got lots of criticals. Good. That is very, very nice indeed. Saved myself some ammo. You didn't actually have a gun. What have you got? Mother Darkness, yeah, a bit of poison. Glad he didn't hit me. Not sure if that's automatically applied to his weapon or not. Ammunition bolt. Oh, microfusion cells times eight. Love it. Flipping love it. Metal armor, troublemaker. Yeah, varmint rifle, shot glass. What else can we get here? Oh, oh yeah, some stuff for my flipping police pistol. I've been shy of 357 for bloody ages. That is very welcome. And one straight razor can do without that. Bottle cap. Fine, and more importantly... Ah, that's just a cleaver. Just a generic cleaver, which sadly is not that good. Though, I will take tumblers today, thank you. Oh yeah, lock pick up by three every time. Yeah, that cleaver at damage 11 and DPS 28. It's basically the cosmic knife, but a lot worse in every conceivable way. So, let's just get rid of that. Right, out we come. Looks like, yeah, we got nothing here. We got nothing at all. Handful of people who have got... Ooh! Alright, I'm glad I checked you. I'll always take the fire stuff, because the stuff that makes fire scares off the abominations, which is very, very welcome indeed. But for the most part, yeah, time to move straight on. Fine. So, what there's going to be if I just keep heading pretty much straight south is... We have got that trailer, which triggers an ambush in the base game. Don't know if that ambush is still going to be triggered, but it seems like most of the triggers are basically still in play around this part of the world. It's just that, uh, yeah, these days it's just one enemy type's been replaced with another. So the Legion ambush still happens. It's just now it's tribals rather than Legion. So I'm going to guess this ambush still happens too. If I recall correctly, honestly, there's not that much good in here that's actually worth grabbing. So, and also it might be guarded full stop. Actually, if it's still a trap, logically it wouldn't be. Like, it would be wide open to lure people in. And the moment you, like, step inside the trailer, the trap triggers. Alright, well, I'll give it a look-see anyway. Here we go. Raided Farmstead. Ooh, that's even got the same name as it has in the base game. Right. So, if I step inside... I'm just going to look inside here, actually. Before I step inside, I'm just going to look inside. See if there's actually anything... Okay. Okay, congratulations. You've set up a tempting bloody trap. I'm just going to see if I can just get in here grab this stuff and then get straight back out again. But yeah, this is 100% a trap. Because actually... Oh! Oh, look at all of this stuff. Oh, look at all of... Okay. Now I'm actually thinking I want to spring the trap. Because quite frankly, some of this stuff is is too good to not take. Ammo box. Throw away. And then bottle cap. And oh, star bottle cap, which is completely pointless. Right, now probably time to, time to see if we can just go, 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 go. Go. Where are the ambushes? Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. It was a trap. Right. How, how big and bad a trap is it? Okay, if I just go over... Oh, bloody hell. How many is it? I see one, two... I see you've got a gun. Um, oh, I'm going to struggle to... Right, you're actually a melee. I'm just going to hide back here from the guy who's got the... Oh, it's... Oh, one of you's got the... One of you's got a bad thing. Okay, it's... It's too many people. It's too many people and makeshift laser revolver as well. Um, okay, just, just, ow, ow, stop hitting me. This is not worth it. The ambush was not worth it. Well, actually, how much do you, oh, you're only worth 18 each. 
So honestly, you're not actually worth that much in either case. So we'll just finish you off. Excuse me, would you mind just dying at some point? Nope, never mind, but I'm happy to die. Right, let's just not trigger that. There's some level of ammo in there, but honestly, I'm going to spend more ammo than it takes to... Ooh, hang on, unless... No, this is not a valid use of two... What is it? It might be. This could be a valid use of two... St okay, I'm going to try again, but this time, what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to stay inside the actual caravan and then just basically try and hold out in here. Just because, uh, yeah, there's actually a decent amount of stuff here. Go over to something where I've got, yeah, seven shots, probably one shot kills. I can probably pick one or two of them off immediately. Yeah, I can see them starting to appear right now. And then, right, there's, oh, so I just miss you. That looked like it was a pretty clean shot to me, but okay. Now I just wait over here, let them come in the door. Because when one headshot kills, it should be pretty okay for me to just actually, yeah, basically let them step in one at a time. And then just headshot for Oh, you sneaky bastard. That's not fair. You're not allowed to step behind a wall. And you are, you're fine. One headshot will still do for you. Right, dead. Let them just come one by one and you've got a sniper rifle. Okay, this... This all of a sudden, this is worth it. In comes someone else who's also got a gun. I might be too close to you right now. No, the pistol works fine. In comes someone else. They've also got a gun. <laughs> Actually, you didn't have a gun. You've got a knife. Uh, so, okay. Now, ideally, I'd like a moment to... Oh, blimey heck. Uh, now I'll just take you down manually. And you need to go down to... i tell you what. Torso. That's fine. Reload inside that, which works for me. How are we doing? Still in danger. Still in danger. Still in danger, but enough for a VAT shot now. I tell you what, this works. But where's the other one? Okay, a little bit unnerved at the lack of anyone else. Where's the other... Hello, we've got... Oh! It's someone who's trying to get to me through the wall. Okay, um, would you mind if I just like... Oh, hello, can you not... Can you not get to me? Right, I think you guys are stuck in a wall. And I'm not sure I can shoot you. Interesting. Right, I might be able to hit him from... No, no, he's managed to get free. Okay, he's coming round, but he's got no gun. So if he just wants to run in here, that's that's a okay. He's going to try and pick up someone else's gun. Not going to work out for him. Because I'm going to immediately murder him like that, yes. And then we've got you, who's just stuck stuck here. Now I can't, I can't get up onto a position where I can actually get you, unfortunately. I might be able to, if I just shoot your hands, was that, like that, is that good enough? Could I shoot your hand right now? I can apparently, I could shoot your shotgun. Has that destroyed your shotgun? I'm unclear. Right, well probably best to clear out all of your stuff. Ooh, hammer. I'll take a hammer, please. Break that down momentarily. 357. Nice. Cowboy repeater, leave that. I'd rather have the police pistol. It's lighter. I think it actually does more damage, quite frankly. Uh, okay. 308. I'd love to take the sniper rifle, but... Actually, damage 46 is... That's pretty high. That's pretty nice right there, but I think I need to leave that. And, yeah, take all of that. Leave the makeshift laser revolver. Honestly, that's pretty weak. You just had a knife on you. Combat armor's nice. Mentats. Ooh, ran away. Thank you very, very much indeed for that. And you're just stuck in a wall. Right, now can I just basically immediately step you. round over here and... Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. There you go. You just missed with your only shot. Bad news for you. You just had a basic crappy shotgun. Down you go. Actually... Not that crappy. Hang on, what did you actually have? No, it was a single shotgun. Sorry, I thought that looked like it was better for a second there. All right, now that, that was a nice little pick-off for me. And there in the distance, hidden in the fog, somewhere is Searchlight. Right down the road. Question is, what's there? And do I even want to go there? Because I could just loop around this way, get up towards, yeah, the animal husbandry farm, and then loop around the back towards Crash Vertibird and then Airport. Arguably, that's probably going to end up being the smarter play. But let's at least have a look, see what's going on in Searchlight. There it is. 
And we got the water tower on the edge of searchlight. Can't see anything yet. Mist is a bit too thick. Still hidden. No sign of trouble yet. Back to being thirsty. Yeah, there's the airport over there as well. Arguably, that's a good destination. Did I just see movement over there? Or was that just... I think it was just a bit of grass passing in front of another bit of scenery. Oh. NCR. Okay. NCR camp. Now, that doesn't mean... Oh, ooh, move away, move away, move away, move away, move away, move away. That does not mean this whole area is held by the NCR. Because the NCR are on the outskirts normally. So we've got a bunch of NCR. And hang on, just out of interest, uh, go over to proper ammunition for this thing. Yeah, okay. Sneak attack critical, easily one shot any of these lads, no problem. The question is, who actually holds the town? Because that's the NCR camp, yes. That doesn't mean they hold the town. And is the town still also highly radioactive? Because it might be. So this is the third, well, if they hold the town, this is the third major NCR camp I've found so far. Because, yep, there's the NCR troopers over there. So we got, they're still at the airport. Fort Searchlight. Interesting. They're still at the airport. And they're still at Camp Golf. And if they've got this place under strength too... I don't see anything, except, oh, hello. Is that a Brotherhood of Steel banner? And if it is, are the Brotherhood of Steel actually, oh, hello. That's, that's a lot of, they are. Oh, flip, this is where the Brotherhood of Steel are. Right, this is where they went after the courier blew up the bunker then. Well, this is interesting. So, we got power armor, lads. Oh, that's, that's not going to fly. That is not going to fly at all. I mean, I probably could take out a power armor, lad. Like, power armor's not a huge deal in this game. Like, you know, it's only slightly better than normal tough armor. But... Okay, let's just try and, yeah, sneak down into one of the basements. Because I think there's like a little basement off. Yeah, there's a little basement off this room. Okay, so NCR storage. Question is, who's actually here? Not necessarily the NCR. Could now be Brotherhood. And, oh yeah. Okay, back off. I need something stronger. If I want to take out a Brotherhood member, I need... I'm going to need something good. I'm going to need something really good. Police pistol damage 15. I've got... I've got pulse grenades. Bonus damage versus power armor. Let's go over to... Oh, this has got, like, no ammo. Yeah, that's... That's unfortunate that that's run out of ammo right now. I don't have... I don't have much. I go for the police pistol, I guess. And that's... Oh, no. Right, we'll junk rounds. Oh, this is just not what I wanted to see at all. Right, where are the... Where are the Brotherhood? There's presumably he's around the corner somewhere. I need to wait for him to be... Right, I just need to get up in his face and just... Excuse me! Hello! Yes, yeah, so please don't actually shoot me with your flamethrower. Instead, I'd like to get a critical and I should get criticals because I have got like... Yeah, I've invested majorly in criticals. Wow. Taking out a guy in power armor is literally only worth actually... Uh, yeah, flipping 18 XP. That's a bit on the harsh side. Still, I didn't use that much ammo to do it because I got lucky with that critical. I'll take a snack off you. And I'm going to work under the assumption I cannot put on power armor again. Yeah, need power armor training. I wonder if that's even provided in this game. Hard to say. Right, well, there's some welding guns and metal boxes and... This is interesting. Welding gun that I physically can't pick up. If I had to put a guess in, I'm going to say that at some point I'm going to find a broken down aeroplane. And the game's going to be like, hey, to fix this, you're going to need X, Y, Z, a unicorn horn, and also two welding guns. And now I know where one of them is. All right. I don't know, but that is my prediction right there. And quite frankly, I'll take all the flipping ammo. 
Apart from the flamer stuff. The flamer stuff is... Oh, this is all... Okay. Take the microfusion at the bare minimum. But I'm worried about weight already. Quite frankly, this is worth it just for the microfusion. Because remember, I have got the super powerful... Yeah, the gorse rifle. And even if that actually fires all four of its shots in one go, which I believe it will do... Doesn't matter. Now I've actually got a fair few shots. Now, recon armor. What's that like out of interest? Apparently, it has no armor whatsoever. That's... Wait, nothing has... Game? Are you feeling okay? NCR storage database, average to average. Can't handle either of them, unfortunately. Yes, for whatever reason, right now, um... None of my actual equipment is actually telling me what the damage threshold is. So... Actually, wait, hang on. If I put it on, it's still telling me what my total damage threshold is. So, right, it's nine less. <laughs> Got it. We can leave that behind in that case. Good. And I'll take a rad away as well, please. Uh, yeah, okay. So sneaking in here and killing that guy was worth it at the bare minimum. That's fine, especially as, yeah, if we just find a little bit more stuff here, more rad away. Yeah, now I'm doing less booze. Uh, big stock part of rad away. Honestly, that's that's worthwhile right there. Ooh, metal helmet reinforced. Okay, how good is that? I don't know. Uh, one better. So it's four rather than three, but it doesn't actually give me any other benefits in terms of critical. Critical is going to be what keeps me alive. Honestly, just, yeah, focus on that. Right, this here, nice stockpile. Ooh, also, reloading bench. Not much I can do with that at the minute, however, because, yeah, it's a workbench where I can change the sorts of ammo around. Okay, I think I've got what I need here. Leave this be for the time being. Let's just sneak out of here again. Yeah, that's got to be the best bet. Or I could use some of those microfusion cells to snipe off the old Brotherhood Knight, if I can. Straight into caution, which is, oh, very bad news. Very bad news. Very bad news. Really bad news. Hide behind the church. Hide behind the church. Go, go, go. Actually, wait, hang on. Okay. Gun away. Lead them towards the NCR. If they're willing to follow me... Okay. Lead them in. Okay. Tree, 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 tree. Now, NCR. Excuse me. Hello. How would you two like to meet? Because typically, the NCR and the Brotherhood, they ain't friends. So how about I just lead you two in this direction. Now I just loop round up here. And in a perfect world, you two guys will meet each other. And then you'll kill each other and everything will be... Hey, okay, where's the... Oh, okay, there's there's the NCR. Right, I found the NCR. I found the NCR, and I found the... No, they're both just killing me. Okay. In some ways, this hasn't... No, they're, they're all just killing me. Okay, so my super awesome plan did not really work. Right, second time's not a charm, because unfortunately they are following me again. Right, the question is, what exactly am I going to do to save myself... From the Brotherhood, who now seem to be... Oh, that's that's the automated cannons, though. That's the... That's not the... No, it was the automated cannons. One of them's got a cocking missile launcher. Right. Um, I may be in a bit of a bad situation here. Like how now every time I leave that bunker, the Brotherhood immediately find me. And then chase me to the ends of the earth. Oh, dear. Alright, I'm just making a run for it over open ground on this occasion. I'm going to try and keep... Oh, bloody hell. They, um, they mind. They object to my intrusion and theft of their, like, you know, rads and whatever. Um, okay. Just keep on moving. How many are following right now? I think I might have... Okay, I think I might have got away with it. Right, okay. So, lesson learnt. There are, in fact, yeah, Brotherhood of Steel lads, and they really, really... Uh oh who spotted me now? That's a... Ooh, a glowing trooper ghoul. You are completely flipping harmless. Just let you get right up close to me. One shot in the face. Down you go, you stupid bastard. And weirdly, that's worth more XP to me than taking out a bloody power-armoured Brotherhood of Steel knight. Okay. Question. What is going on in this part of the world? Because I see... Yes, okay. That's just a little caravan park on the edge of town. Skirt around the outside of that. Let's just stay away from searchlight for the time being. Because, yeah, clearly there might be some terminals. But until I've got up to 50 and 50, I'm not scorpions. Okay. Scorpions were there in the base game. Now, 
I see there's planes, which would be a good way to escape the Mojave. But here's the thing. Those planes are there in the base game, and they're just like assets. They don't do anything. Now, also... Um, right, the scorpions are now coming for me, which is a little bit on the not great side. I mean, I feel like they're going to struggle in some ways. Like, can they even... Can they even figure out how to path to me? I don't think they can. And there go more of them. Off towards the little kind of cut through underneath. But yeah, once again, they're not they're not doing so hot. Okay, so airports. A lot of flipping rad scorpions. How strong are they? Pretty strong. Worryingly strong. That's with my flipping paciencia. Okay. Now, a great big explosive could clear them out if I was lucky. Yeah, actually. This could be worth a shot. Just get them all clustered together. They don't seem to be able to actually path to me properly. And then one massive explosive in the middle of them. I could be in XP and dead scorpion central. Right, lads, 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 lads. Hello, yes. You're scorpions, I'm not. That's how this goes. So, do you just want to basically stand in a circle forever? Because if you just like to run around in a circle forever, I think that might actually work for me, potentially. Yes. All right, first thing to check... Can I actually physically get to all of the rad scorpions? Yes or no? And the answer appears to be yes. The answer is yes. Now, second question. Can the rad scorpions get to me? Well, some of them can. That's certainly true. Right, just let them get up close and personal. And then get a few shots in at the stinger. I am Captain Critical Hit. So I should be able... To be fairly efficient on the old ammo. One, two. Obviously on that occasion I didn't, no. But just keep trying. Sooner or later, there we go. There's the critical. And, oh dear. These guys are not ammo efficient to take down. Like, at all. And one more should finish you off there. Now over to the junk rounds. Yeah. Yeah. I physically don't have enough ammo to handle this. It looks like they're struggling, however, to actually climb down the slope that gets you up into the airport. Or rather, they don't know how to path through it. Okay. The airport is... Okay, the airport building is... That looks like that's still... Hang on. Yeah, that's still covered up by trash. That's definitely not been repurposed. It'd be really cool if you could actually get in there. That'd be really cool, but it looks like not. Okay. I may or may not wish to try and actually break in here. But right now, I simply do not have the ammo for it. And you're dead. Interesting. Okay, that's unexpected. I mean, hmm. I could just try and snipe them off with... Oh, hello! Blimey, sorry. You, you took me by surprise. I mean, the little ones are fine. Okay, little ones, I can one-shot. No problem at all. If they just come at me one at a time, but they're, they're not worth ammo. That's the problem. They're worth so little ammo to me. Now, if I can get the sneak attack crits, I might have a chance. But even then, it's going to be a huge waste of ammo, and I don't even know there's anything good in here. And they, oh, that's another one, that's another one, that's another one. Please do not sneak up on me. Or rather, actually... Do sneak up on me, one at a time, and also I am now Lord Death, which I'm hoping might be worth a- Ooh, a nice big old pile of XP. Hello, yes, I just shot your babies. Please, like, come and find me one at a time. Oh, that does nothing. That just did so little to you. Okay, I mean, maybe if they come and find me one at a time, I might make this work, but I've only killed, like, four of them so far. Wouldn't mind levelling up either. Oh, dear. Oh, flipping. Yeah. Okay. Come back for this. Come back for this. But I'm not convinced this is the right way to go. Okay, I've just dropped a save because I'm curious. Okay, so let's just go over to my completely inaccurate mega rifle. All right, so let's just see if I can use this. Oh, it's swaying all over the flipping shop. Oh, critical. A critical with a gorse rifle won't kill you. Well, obviously not. No, that would be crazy. And uh, that's enough to kill you, though. I've just gone invisible because I want to check. 
I want to check whether there's definitely nothing going on in the airport. Yep, Searchlight Airport, same name as it ever had. That door is still blocked up. And I just want to go and check the planes. Just to make sure that this isn't actually, like, you know, the main objective of the entire actual mod. Because it's possible that, you know, given I literally just said, oh yeah, that welding torch, which I can't remember if it's even in the base game or not, that welding torch might be really, really flipping important. Oh, flip me. There is actually a workbench here. Okay. This is of interest. There's a workbench set up next to this here plane. Oh, flip! Alright, we have found what we need to find. We've actually found an airplane that could be fixed. Okay, question is... Yeah, excuse me. Uh, one... No, I'll take the note, please. Okay, how to fix airplane? Do not know. Right, we've made remarkable progress using the tech we brought from Hidden Valley. Okay, fine. We're still short on a few supplies. Ought to be fairly easy to scavenge in time. Biggest issue are damn rad scorpions. Now that they've got a nest around here, Ramsey will need to address this issue if work is to continue. Okay. List of materials. Oh, flip. Right. So, what do we need here? We need flame of fuel times 48. We need scrap metal times 8. Scrap electronics times 6. Sensor module times 2. Conductor times 1. Okay. Now this... This is of interest. This is very much of interest. Now, all of that is not too difficult to come by. And thankfully, that sort of stuff I have not been just randomly burning as I actually go through the game. Because, yeah, actually, well, aside from scrap metal, none of that's actually required to make weapon repair kits. Now, flame of fuel. I might have some of that right now, actually. No, by coincidence, not. But I certainly have seen some of that dotted about. Ah, and problem number two... I need repair of 75 to make the airplane parts, which only shows up in the recipes once I've picked up that note. So, the question is, am I willing to actually... Oh, blimey. Right, you know what? I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write this down because I suspect I'm about to be killed by... Actually, no, if I can get out, I'm going to be... Right, I suspect they know I'm here. I suspect they now know I'm here. And can they run faster than me? I can't remember whether if you're running with your back to a scorpion, they actually know about you or not. Right, just keep on keeping on, and then just drop over here. In fact, actually, if you jump on top of the plane, I might be able to get an explosive on you bastards. Oh, blimey hell, you just tried to take a dive at me. Uh, I do possibly have a... Okay, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. I think you guys should probably, like, explode or something. Screw the lot of you. Ah, my aim with the explosives is pretty poor, and those guys are... Hang on. No, wait, 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 wait. That is... That was nowhere near close enough, boo. Right, now they're all naffing off. Oh, well, that's, that's cleared out some space anyway. It's fine. So, you know what? I'm going to let this stand, because that means I get to keep the note. And that's probably pretty bloody useful. All right, I've wasted a few shots out of my uh, my gorse rifle, but that's that's fine. That's fine. That's all a okay. So, I've got myself an objective, and yeah, the comments have been hinting there's more than one solution to this mod. So that's that's one way out. One way out. I now know. Seventy five repair and a giant list of components, which unfortunately is going to be a little bit on the heavy side now. Arguably, like, maybe half of that I can actually get straight out of, yeah, Novak, to be honest. Like, there's plenty of actual equipment floating around there I probably haven't touched. There's actually, yeah, a good chance I can do some good work immediately. Still, there's no point rushing to gather those components because I'm going to need to level up, what, like, four or five times just to actually have a repair of 75. So, for the time being, this is academic, but... I do now know one way to get out of the area. And I don't want to leave yet because I have found a note, you know, specifically addressing me by name saying, hey, come to the strip. So, need to do that. But it is good to know that, yeah, my instincts did serve me well. The airport, or rather the little known airport to the south. That works. And we've also got ourselves more glowing trooper ghouls. And they are, hang on. Are you guys... 
You guys would logically be... Uh oh, there might be... Yeah, I thought there might be more of them. Right. You guys need to just die to a headshot. And then need to just basically take a step away from you. Because you start actually broadcasting rads. Uh, if you guys want to come over here, I'm happy to just basically kill you one by one. You're not even actually glowing. You're just feral. Sorry, not 95%. 71. And that's the 95% I want. Right. Is this actually the crashed vertebird over here? I think it should be. And I think this is an excellent swap of enough ammo for XP for me to level up. Right, get over here and, yep, thought there might be more. I thought I just heard you behind me. And you just died as well by anyone else, anyone else, anyone else. I mean, caution, not danger. Is that enough for level 7? And I think it is. Nice! Okay, so, repair. That just became a priority. Except, lockpick of 50 is also kind of a priority. <laughs> Right, let's just get repair moving in the right direction. But I can't just rush repair. Because, again, there's no point. There's lots I want to see on the map yet. Okay, let's get lockpick up to 50, which is good. Guns already at 65, which is good. Repairs up at 30. That's, that's a good starting point. Now, entomologists might actually be worth taking sooner or later. Because, yeah, 50% bonus damage to those scorpions. That will actually help out quite a bit. But let's not worry about that, like, you know, as a priority. Finesse. Ooh. Five points of luck, so more criticals, but 5% less damage. Not a bad idea. Ghost Hunter. Comments have been saying that I can actually kill ghost people anyway. As long as I just keep wailing on the limbs for long enough, they will die. This just basically makes it a lot faster. So if I actually just like knock them down at all full stop, they will just auto die. But the normal way of killing them will still work. Just cripple a limb and they will auto die. So that's interesting. What else do we have here? Gunslinger. Yeah, interesting. Oh, one thing that someone did mention in the comments. Only one person said this and I wasn't able to verify it. Apparently the police pistol is officially not a revolver as far as the game is concerned. Which is odd because it really looks like a revolver. Apparently the game just thinks it's a pistol. But yeah, I couldn't verify that and only one person said it. So I'm not going to swear that's true. What else would I be interested in though? Well, I could just take tag to actually boost my repair up by, yeah, 15 which is basically a free level. And also someone did actually flag. There's very little reason not just to take uh, here and now. I could just take here and now at any point. Because yeah, now you actually get a perk every level. But then again, it's probably best to save here and now for... Or is it? Because if I get stronger now, then it's easier to level up going forward. No, let's save here and now. But yeah, here and now is actually potentially of interest. Oh, I'd love to avoid being crippled because, yeah, actually recovering crippled limbs is really difficult. But minus three damage threshold is uh, that's, well, is it that much to sacrifice? Like, I've actually got a ton of damage threshold right now. Three down for me is, well, it's a 10% loss. It's a 10% loss, but I would like to, that's really tempting, actually. That's very tempting. Or, you know what, I'm actually just going to take action boy too. I think I'm actually, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's good. I just want all the action points, please. Now, I'm running really worryingly low on the ammunition right now. And question is, here we go. Should be in, oh. Oh, the robots. Okay, so the robots are still guarding the crashed vertebrate. Now, the question is, I've got pulse grenades. And I've got this here rifle. That, you know, I have been saying I keep for times when I need to take out tough stuff. Would a sneak attack, a sneak attack might not even take that out. That's a bit worrying. Would a sneak attack critical be enough to down that robot? If it was willing to hold still. Oh, flip, there's a sentry bot. Oh, flip. Okay. Let's say for the sake of argument, I could nail that sentry bot in the combat inhibitor. Make that go rogue. Make that attack its friends. That's probably my only chance of getting up to the crash vertebird. Now, the crash vertebird could also be repairable. I don't know. And I think someone in the comments did mention, hey, crash vertebird equals good. I mean, there is the, um, the Tesla prototype thing in the base game. 
which is, yeah, actually very powerful for not using much ammo and using the electron charge packs, which are fairly common, not too difficult to get hold of, and I can make more with a workbench. Okay, let's go and have a little look-see. My best bet is if I could just nail the sentry bolt with a sneak attack critical right in the combat inhibitor, make it kill its friends, then I've got a chance. Other than that, I don't see how I'm going to make that work. Alright, moved around to a cliff on the far side. Now, let's just see if I can... Oh, I can. Okay. I can one-shot... Okay, and that actually gives me a really, really nice view of what's actually there. And it's double flipping sentry bot. Now... Where is that? Yeah, I need to I need to see that sentry bot, please. Excuse me, I need to I need to scan that sentry bot. Okay, because I can't actually remember where the uh, the combat inhibitor is. I assume it's in the back. They're almost always in the back. Here we go. So, hardened sentry bot. Uh no no, not like that. Left arm, combat inhibitor, yeah. It's just in the back. So I just need to basically whack that thing in the back, but can I kill this? That's that's a big old question. That's a big old question right there. Looks like a sneak attack in the legs would do really good damage, but I'm burning through this gorse rifle pretty quickly. I mean, honestly, I don't even know what I'm trying to get here right now. I do not know. And then, okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh, why is the sway? Why is the sway? Ah! Okay, sneak attack critical. Over there, which is always welcomed. That did... Oh, blimey. That actually... That actually did good damage. Oh, can't... Okay, wait. Wait. Be patient with your shots. The thing's swaying like crazy. Are you auto-repairing right now? I think you're auto-repairing. And also, I think he knows I'm here. That means I'm about to die. Um... So that... In come the miss... Oh! <laughs> Okay, that that was good. That was good. Literally saw that passing me by. There's just a feral ghoul roamer over there. Okay, and now where's the other sentry bot? Okay, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, cock. I think, wait, what? Okay, I'm very close by to, um, yeah, the actual husbandry farm. Oh, hang on, there's... Hello! Can we be friends? Boom! Okay, I need to get out of the- Ow! Do not missile me, you bastard! Oh, this is doing not enough damage, not enough damage, not enough damage! Okay, kind of- I've got to hope for a crit on the- The chest is actually- Yeah, the torso's pretty vulnerable. Hope for a crit! Okay, and no, dead. Okay, this is not necessarily going to work. Okay, once again, I can easily take out the gutsy. The gutsy can be sniped off. For 23 XP, but at the cost of a lot of very valuable ammo. Honestly, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm going to need to, yeah, if I get all criticals, all nailing the mark perfectly, then potentially I can actually get access to the Crash Vertibird. But I'm going to burn basically all the ammo I've got for my most powerful weapon. And in comes another one. Oh, just wait, 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 wait. Dead. Okay, caution, back off. Do not let them see you. And one more over there. Oh, you just survived that, didn't you? Yes, you did. Oh, he's been frenzied. Oh, good. I think I just accidentally got a good hit right in his combat inhibitor. Tell you what. Let's have a little look, see? Any chance you're attacking your, you're attacking your friends? That's right, go attack you. That's right! That's flipping right! You two just finish each other off. That is just beautiful. And... Any chance you... Uh-oh. No, 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 that was... I assume that was the frenzied one, actually. Wait, how much more is... How much more is here? How many more of these bastards are there? I thought I'd actually cleared out a good number, but there's another... There's another two. And I haven't even touched the sentry bots yet. Oh, bloody hell. This is, this is not good. This is, oh uh, no, I don't think I've, I think I've physically not got the ammo for this. I mean, this has been a decent source of ammo, shooting these little robots in a barrel, but no. 
I mean, you've taken the lightest, lightest knock. I'd love to be able to just nail you right in the combat inhibitor, but I will take that. Ah, I should have taken that shot. That was actually a good opportunity. Right, if he's wanting to turn around. Okay. I'm just going to go, you know, because right now he's probably coming for me. I was really hoping I might just be able to nail him right in the combat inhibitor, and that would have been hilarious. But I'm... Quite frankly, I'm running desperately low on ammo. Really worryingly low. I need to find a good stockpile at some point. Right, I'm going to back off. Let those guys chill out for a minute. And... Alright. Once again, I step over here and someone's firing at somebody. Question is... Do I see any movement in... This farm? Because I don't think I do. I mean, there's gunfire... Yeah, okay. But no one guarding the upper levels of that farm. Let's just peek in through the back windows. See what we got. And abandoned farm. Yeah, it is. Oh, maybe not quite so abandoned. Okay. Confirmed. One may be hostile, maybe not. Check the other barn. Oh, I'm in danger. And we've got... Oh, hello, hello. Excuse me. Oh, you're just shooting me through the... Right, no, 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 no. Right, round the side. And hello. You're just a survivor, are you? Okay. You guys are not exactly a big deal. In fact, I'm just going to actually back off and try and save the ammo for the most part. Okay, and block. And then go, go. Lovely. You have got this lovely, powerful thing here. Oh, the other guy's got a gun, though. The other guy does have a gun, so probably I should actually use a gun on you. So, oh, you're almost dead. Oh, that's welcome. That's very welcome. But you are about to shoot me. So, if you wouldn't mind just dying, please. Thank you. More people yet. Oh, who's that coming round? I see... Oh, I see two people. I see two. Um... I've got more ammo than 9mm. Let's just meet them as they come around the corner. And then avoid you. In fact, you know what? Screw it. Just kill you because I don't know what the other person has. So I'd rather you just be dead. You almost managed to get inside the effective range of my gun there. Hello! Oh, you've just shot me with something, you bastard. You can go down. Now, who did you just kill? Because whoever was at the front door. No, I'm still in danger. Still very much in danger. Right, come around the corner. Goes over to a knife. Ah, you know what? I'm already in fat out. Oh, you sneaky bastard. How'd you get away from that? Right, excuse me. I would like you to... Okay. Now, come on. This is not not actually right, actually. Okay, block. Then, excuse me. Still in flipping caution. Bloody hell. Survivors are not normally in groups this bloody big. Ooh. Caravan, though. And no, the knife's not that great. Right. Check for not much ammo. I'm spending ammo. I'm not getting it back. Question is, who's left? Because, well, sometimes you're just left in caution at the end of a fight. And you don't actually know who the last person is. In fact, sometimes it's not anybody. Sometimes it's just, just for fun. Ooh, microfusion times 11. That's, that's actually quite useful. And we've got, oh. Hello, have you got a gun by any chance? Yes, you do have a gun, you have a gun, you have a gun, you have a gun, you have a gun. Right, hang on, hide, 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 hide. Right, there's... Hide behind an actual wall. Okay, hide behind an actual wall. Hello, would you like to come over here? Because I'd like to punch you in the face with a blade of the gauntlets. And then, oh, oh, bloody hell, there's holes in the wall. And then, oh, what the... Wait, what? How did you shoot me in the... How? How did you... Oh, balls. You should, I should have just stuck with the guns. Right, dead, and dead, or going to be dead, or hopefully dead. Oh, claw your face right off. Right, I'm still in cocking caution, and this is my last flipping doctor's bag as well, but screw it, do a stim pack. I think I'm a little bit on the, yeah, I'm a bit on the thirsty side anyway, screw it. I'm actually carrying around a fair bit of the old water, do some of that. Yeah, that seems to be the lot of them. All dead. Fine. I'm tired and could do uh, with a place to sleep. And if I'm right and it hasn't been moved, uh, yeah, there's a good few bits and pieces up here, including, of course, well, no, don't start stockpiling. Well, maybe start stockpiling. Like maybe just the rare stuff and, yeah, there's the journal. Now, is this just the same guy who went insane, animals, etc., etc., etc.? No! 
The notes have been changed. Okay. Uh, worse, it appears the town we came all this way for is already taken. Occupied. They've got power armor, laser guns. Isn't that fantastic? Mel's group is already thinking of skipping out. Not while I'm in charge. We're staying weather. All right. Might need to find the rest of those notes to see what's going on here. Ooh, ammunition. Okay. Ammunition is good. And yeah, loads of 556. Five, but, ooh, flame of fuel. Right, start gathering flame of fuel. Every time I see flame of fuel, I want to be taking that with me. Because flame of fuel is probably going to be actually the hardest bit to come across in terms of fixing the plane. And it weighs, like, very, very little. So make sure we carry all of the flame of fuel with me. Now, what happened to that flipping wasteland survival guide? There it is. Hello, wasteland survival guide. Beautiful. And more... Torn pages. Not sure where number one is, mind. Probably down over there by the little house where those two ran in from. So, yes, the last thing we saw was whether she likes it or not. Though we all know Mel. Push comes to Shava, she'll be the first to draw a gun. Might be best if she goes scouting one day and never comes back. It's dirty, but if she's getting restless, it may be the only option. Jim told us to stay, so we're staying. I can only hope he gets his sooner rather than later. Tensions are high. It's the sewers all over again. Oh, Jim, I'm so sorry I killed Jim and then left his guitar by the fire. I'm very sorry. Still, we don't know where page one is, but honestly, it's pretty clear. These guys came here for searchlight and found it under occupation by the Brotherhood of Steel. Now, that's interesting and different enough. It would be great to just go and investigate, but... How the bloody hell am I going to blast my way in? I mean, I've got I've got some difficult choices to make here. I've got a fair bit of ammo from a super powerful, awesome mega rifle. Okay. I've got a few shots left in that. But, yeah, not many. There's only so many Brotherhood Knights and so many robots I can take out with that. Is that really the best thing to do with that ammunition? I don't know. Oh, and here's fun. The grave can be... Wait, hang on. Okay, burial mounds can be open, but graves can't without a shovel. Alright, fine. Bit of an interesting distinction there. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think that's enough for now. We have made, I'd say, a pretty damn good distance today, and uh, probably I've made a pretty worrying dent into my own sanity as well, which should probably uh, worry me just a little bit. And don't forget to read that book, by the way. Oh! Survival up by three. We're starting to get somewhere. Okay, survival at 63. That is not bad. That is not bad at all. At this point, a good solid Brahmin state gives me, yeah, plus four hit points every 15 seconds. Food minus 113. That's decent. That is very, very decent indeed. Still, we have got some big decisions to make next time, ladies and gentlemen. As I just very quickly make... No, I think I'm okay without rushing water, actually. Well, actually, hmm... It does still sort out my water. Attack speed up. I'll tell you what, just for an emergency, just for an emergency, I'm just going to make one of those rushing waters. But mostly, I'm just interested in Brahmin steaks. There we go, delicious, delicious Brahmin steaks. We've got some big decisions to make next time, ladies and gentlemen. Because, uh, yeah, there's a lot of different directions I could go from here. We got ourselves Fort Searchlight. I could try and blast my way in there, see if I can loot it a bit more effectively. Open up that safe. Now I've actually got Lockpick of 50. Could be very, very interesting indeed. There is, yeah, the Crash Vertibird close by to here as well. Robots I could probably take out, but if I take that out, it's going to burn pretty much all of my best ammunition. Or we could simply head over here to the west. Try and find Nipton. Pretty sure that's just going to be another cannibal town right there. But, cannibal town with plenty of houses for the looting. Not sure if I'd actually make a profit there, though. I suspect, once again, I'd lose more ammo than I gained. Advantage to Fort Searchlight is the Brotherhood would, at the bare minimum, yeah, seemingly be a good source of ammo. I could sneak in and just murder a bunch of them for ammo. I might actually make a profit because I made some good microfusion cell profit off that little room I snuck into in the basement of the church. And there's more in there. There's a lot of boxes of stuff in there. And of course, yeah, we need to know what's going on down over here. Cottonwood Cove uh, and Caesar's camp. There was the vague implication from the note we found in Novak that they might still be there on the far side of the Colorado. So uh, who knows? Possibly. 
Anyway, we'll be making those decisions next time, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, at some point, we do need to head back north. Vegas awaits. We shall see where we decide to head next week. But in the meantime, I've been Johnson. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Fallout New Vegas with Dust. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh no! Oh dear! America's decided they do not like us! Just want to finish off China. I can die happily. Well, not happily because there's nuclear fire involved, but moderately happily. There we go! I've just started. Oh god. The Earth was fun, wasn't it? We can all agree, the Earth was great.